Hello everyone, we are here uh, doing our part two. Uh, it's actually the next day because uh, things took a turn for us yesterday. We had to do some other stuff. So part two about our shelter logic uh, setup with our greenhouse and a uh, little bit about our heater as well in case anybody out there decides to do something like this for themselves. Uh, we just wanna give you our two cents about what we thought about the setup and what we think about uh, using it for a shelter now. So what would you like to say about it all, Christina? The setup was not fun. The instructions <laughs> say that it will take two hours for two people to set up the Shelter Logic greenhouse. But I think even if you are two professional greenhouse setter uppers, it will not take you two hours. It will take longer. Um, Took us about 10 hours. Yes, in total. Um, the instructions could have been a little more clear in some parts, and the, uh, the numbers that the individual parts were labeled with could have also been more clear. On a lot of them, the numbers were smudged, so you couldn't quite tell what part it was, uh, as the instructions indicated to put it together. So that was a bit of a challenge. Um, it also said that you need a rope and a ladder to construct it, but we were able to do it without those things. Um, so, not and some of the directions <laughs> are very hard to yeah, uh, decipher, decipher. Mm -hmm. and you got to use your noggin to kind of put it together as far as what these little pictures that they give you for diagrams for the next steps as you go through the setup. It's not the easiest thing to figure out. Uh, there was a few times we had to take stuff apart because we were uh, misreading what the pictures said. So they were a little tough to, to figure out sometimes. That being said, the greenhouse itself is pretty great. It does what we need it to do. Um, we have put in a good amount of work insulating it to make it as warm as we would like it to be cardboard, for the winter. Cardboard on both sides. We lined it up to about six feet tall, the entire length of the tent. And we have mm -hmm. cardboard, nice thick cardboard lining it. And then you saw the safety blankets that we put on top of there. And uh, we cut the draft down very much. Um, we have quite a bit of heat retention now. It takes about, what do you say, about five minutes for it to warm up in there. Oh yeah, We've and got, it gets warm with the kerosene heater. Yeah, it's a Dura heat, Dura heat kerosene heater is what we're running. Uh, $139 plus tax at uh, Home Depot. And you can make one full tank last about 13 hours. It says 10 to 12 in the manual, but we think we got about 13 hours out of a full tank. Um, since it's warmed up a little bit, we haven't had to use it as much. We're using it just intermittently as we want to knock the chill off or uh, as we're getting ready to go to sleep and then we'll turn it off uh, for several hours while it's not too cold right now because it's only getting down to about 35 to 45 at night. Um, but we are going to get our thermometers here soon so that we can show you guys what the temp is inside the greenhouse and outside um, on different days so you can see that how it's working for us. Um, yeah, this is a very cheap and effective way of staying warm and sheltered for the winter and if you're not afraid of a uh, few hours of some hard work then i would recommend the the greenhouse and the insulation method that we've got going for it if you're trying to uh, save some money and do these cheaply the greenhouse uh, at home depot the shelter logic greenhouse is 368 dollars plus tax which brought us to 396 and so basically between the greenhouse shelter and the heater and the kerosene container that we bought, we spent about 400, or excuse me, $550. So we were gonna get the uh, giant Alaskan Alaknak uh, outfitter from uh, through Home Depot, uh, which is also, I think, built with Shelter Logic, or it might be a different company. I think it's a different might have been brand, a different, um, but, but it's quite a bit more expensive. It's, yeah, they're like anywhere for the one set is uh, one set up is 900 bucks. The other one's uh, 1200. We were looking at the 900 and uh, then going to put a wood burning stove in there. But then we started kicking around the idea of going cheaper. So if your budget's a little tight, uh, definitely recommend this method of 
uh, primitive shelter for yourself for cold weather. Uh, well, keep in mind we are in Kentucky, so it doesn't get nearly as cold uh, down here. We don't get the snowstorms that you get, you know, in the Northeast or out in the Rockies. So, you know, this is kind of winter light out here, but it will get chilly. We got down to about 10 degrees one night, uh, but we stayed very toasty inside with our DuraHeat kerosene heater. So we give thumbs up for these products. Um, like she said, the Shelter Logic greenhouse is not easy to set up. I'm sure any other products are about the same assembly. Um, you just have to allow yourself more time than, than the two hours with two people that they put on the manual. <laughs> Larry is climbing our. I don't know if you guys can see him on there. I think you can see him. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Can. There he is. Yep. He's. This is a <laughs> bunch of license plates and stuff that we put on this limb so that we would have something kind of funky and fancy in the driveway and now you see larry is going all the way up it <laughs> wow. and this is the first time we've seen this mm -hmm. so he's full of surprises <laughs> are you stuck larry <laughs> <laughs> he's gotten pretty good at at getting up and down the trees out here he has a lot of fun so i guess he turned into the star at the end of this video <laughs> But anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it. We just wanted to kind of give you our basic rundown and overtake about uh, our overview of what we think about these products and how they've served us. And as we go through the winter, uh, we'll probably give you updates about it, especially once we get our thermometers installed. Careful. So um, for now, I hope everybody is taken care and is safe. We are enjoying ourselves out here at Twin Feathers, having a good time. And hopefully you find these videos informative in some fashion and uh, maybe even mildly entertaining. So until next time, guys, we will see you. Peace.